We're getting started at the Georgian style home of noted interior designer Ernest De La Torre. Located just up the Hudson in the chic hamlet of Sneedon's Landing, the clock house, as it is known, is a light-filled retreat that's both elegant and casual at the same time. You'll see why the unique design choices make this home feel so luxurious yet so inviting. We join Ernest for a closer look at his over 3,000 square foot, three bedroom home. Hello, my name's Ernest De La Torre and welcome to the clock house. The reason this is called the clock house is because there's a clock right above the front door. The house didn't have a clock when we bought it. I had noticed vintage houses, especially Swedish houses with clocks above the door. And I thought it'd be funny since um, I'm Cuban and I'm always late and my husband is from German descent and always on time, that a clock might uh, be the right thing for our house. Our house is in a place called Sneedon's Landing, Palisades, New York. It's had a very, very storied history from the 1600s on. So you enter our house through the conservatory. There's a dragonfly on the fireplace, so I took that as the theme and it runs throughout the house. You come around the corner and you start to see a balcony and the room beyond, and that's one of the great surprises of the house and it's fun to see people who've never been here come in and suddenly go, wow, this isn't a small cottage, and then they walk through. When you're making your dream house, you don't let any opportunity pass you by, so I couldn't create just any staircase. I had to do my dream staircase. The treads are made by the only authorized company to remake the treads that you find on the sidewalks of historic New York Soho. When you come from the stairs into the great room, the first thing you're struck with is the incredibly large window. It's made of cold rolled steel in Brooklyn, and it just reveals this incredible view. The room used to be two stories and I removed the floor. And I remember when they removed the floor and I saw that opening, I thought to myself, this is what I always wanted. Design wise, I had to add some elements that could absorb the space. One of them was this beautiful chandelier by the artist Erve van der Straten. I have two beautiful sculptures by Wendell Castle, and they actually used to be newel posts to a really, really grand staircase. In my living room, they serve as pedestals. My goal for this room was to have somewhere in the house where you could sit, you could take in the outdoors from anywhere you sat, but you also could have a great conversation with somebody. And so far, all the friends that have been in this room I don't want to leave it. My friends have jided me quite a bit that their playrooms uh, aren't quite as fancy as this one. So when I was planning the room, initially it wasn't going to be a playroom and it was going to be a formal den and I did the walls in a paneling called Straw Marquetry. And in working with the artisan, I mentioned to her that there was a dragonfly motif in the house. Could she add one or two inlaid dragonflies, which are incredibly labor intensive. And when the panels arrived, I had an entire room of dragonflies and I was just, I was just floored. Just outside the den is our guest bathroom and we decided to do something fun on the walls and I asked a, an artist friend, Chantal Martin, and she came and met with my husband, Chris and I, and got the story of how we met. She went in there and half a day later, she came back out with an incredible rendition of how we met, including the staircase I fell down trying to give him my business card. And the master bedroom, apart from the rest of the house, is more of a cocoon. It has Ralph Lauren suiting fabric on the walls, and I love upholstered master bedrooms because they do feel cozy and warm and quiet. But since you're looking up at the ceiling a lot when you're in a master bedroom, I decided to do something special with it and I leafed it in silver tea leaf paper from Stark, which makes any room fantastic. On top of the bedside tables are two fun lamps. They're called Tasmanian Devil Lamps, and that's why they're chained to the walls. I really love doing this project. Uh, it's been a challenge to be my own client, but in the same way, I've also been able to do incredible things, beautiful finishes, and put together a great collection of art. It really is a dream home and it's time for me to move on to a new project so it can be your dream home too.